So this one is just going to be a very quick video to show you how you can do some on the fly editing of images on your Chromebook. Um, right now I'm in a slideshow and so I'm going to create an image from the slideshow so I can show you how to edit it. I'm going to download it as a PNG and that's going to download it right onto my Chromebook. I'm going to say show in folder so that it'll open it up in the files. I did a video previously about files. You might want to check that out if you have any questions about where I'm finding these things. So thumbnails was what it said the download was called. So that's what I'm going to open up. Now if I double click on it, it's going to open it up in the image window. There's a few things you can do with any file. First thing you can do is you can rename it. So I'm going to rename it editing images on Chromebooks. And when you have an image file like a PNG or a JPEG, another thing that you are able to do is you will see a little pencil. And that pencil allows you to edit the image. So I'm going to click on that since that's what I promised I was going to show you. Um, one very, very, very important thing to note is down in the bottom corner right now, I have checked overwrite original. So that means as I edit, every edit I make is saved and overwrites the original, which means the original does not exist anymore. I'm going to unclick that for a minute. And so now I'm still going to have my original image, but now I'm going to edit this and I will probably want to rename it. So some of the renaming tools that I have here are, or sorry, some of the editing tools that I have here are very, very similar to editing tools that you might find on your smartphone or just a basic uh, image editor. You can do an auto fix, which will change the color right away and it'll decide things for you. So you, I had transparencies on, so it made everything brighter. You can also crop your images from here, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can't do any fancy cropping, but you can do rectangular cropping and choose what exactly it is you want to have show up in your final image. Mm -hmm. It does give you a couple options for ratios that you might want to use. So a one to one ratio will give you a square 16 by 19 or 16 by nine will give you that wide screen. And so those are things that you might want to think about if you are using your images for a particular reason. I'm going to crop this square. Uh, the next one over is the brightness. So you can change the brightness and you can change the contrast just like you would anywhere else. And you can drag that and it will take care of that for you. Ooh, that's kind of ugly. This one does have a cancel. So if you don't want to do that, you can cancel that. You can also rotate your images left and right, depending on uh, what you are doing, you may want to do that. You can also undo and redo some of the edits that you've done. Um, when you exit, since it's, you know, saving it automatically, you can just exit it. And when I look at my files now, I can see that I have this edited file and I have my original. I want to show you what would happen if I said, well, don't save the original or sorry, overwrite the original. So I'm going to get another image. Close that for a minute. One thing that my students do a lot is they take screenshots on their Chromebooks. So I'm going to take a screenshot and then we'll edit that screenshot. The way that I like to take screenshots are selected screenshots. And so if you do control shift, hold both those down and then push the button that's in the middle at the top of your uh, keyboard, it's the multi desktop button. It has a bunch. It has a rectangle with two lines on it. What that does is it will give you the crosshairs and that shows you where you can select to take your screenshot. I'm going to take this screenshot. And when you take screenshots on your Chromebook, it will show up right at the bottom and says, hey, notification, uh, you took a screenshot. If you click right there, you can view the screenshot. I'm going to choose to not do that, saying we're going to do some more work. If I want to find my screenshot, I need to go to my files. 
and it will just show up in my downloads just like you would on it, any other computer when you take your screenshots. It names it screenshot taken whenever. I'm going to open that up so I can edit it. I, to, I promised I would show you what it would look like when you overwrote the original. I'm going to rename it. and edit. Again, because this is an image file, I can edit it. Now this time I'm going to say overwrite the original. So that means that my original screenshot is not going to exist. I'm only going, the only thing that will be there when I'm done at test overwrite is going to be the edited version. So I am going to maybe change the brightness. Now it's black and white. There we go, very black and white. So when you're done editing, you can just say done. I'm gonna exit this window so you can see it. All right, so my test overwrite, when I open it this time, it's going to show me the new edited image. Yay. Another cool little thing about images that are saved onto your Chromebook is that once you have multiple images saved, you can look at them one after the other by using those arrow buttons before you choose to edit them. And that's just a short little uh, freebie that they'll do for you to help you manage your images on your Chromebook. So that's how you can edit them. Not anything too fancy in terms of the editing tools, but if you just need to quickly change a screenshot or something like that. It's pretty easy to do directly on your Chromebook.